Now, a fascinating innovation on a North Yorkshire farm could offer hope to struggling dairy farmers. Washfold Farm near Leyburn is harvesting cow muck as well as milk. It's using new technology to extract methane gas from the muck and it's so successful that the muck's now worth more than the milk. Gareth Barlow has this story. Cows have been farmed for thousands of years. The sheds may change but the process stays the same. These cows though are more productive than ever before. It's not just their milk that makes money, it's also their methane. There's no pleasant way to show this, but the muck at my feet is now worth more than the milk these animals provide. Every day the slurry is scraped up and collected for the energy it can produce. What are we David we Metcalf have? made the decision to make money from his muck due to falling milk prices, and he's delighted he did. The milk is losing money and the slurry is actually making us money, which is incredible really. We looked at the economics of it and it looked viable and so we decided you know, to go ahead with it and also you know, it's given us another um, like angle to our business, something that's not actually connected to the milk price. The slurry is piped across the farm to an anaerobic digester, a giant metal man-made stomach that uses bacteria to break down the muck to produce biomethane gas. What happens next makes this grim-looking brew very useful indeed. The biomethane then goes to this engine here um, on, the, on this particular plant and the engine burns the, the biogas uh, to produce electricity. Uh, that electricity powers the whole of this site um, and also this, the surplus goes into the grid um, and uh, yeah, powers homes and industries round about. And that's not all. The processed slurry stays on the farm because it's an excellent fertiliser. So much so it's halved the farm's fertiliser bill. I think this is a fantastic scheme because it's utilising the cows, it's utilising a waste product from the cows that then it is being transformed into energy and then the waste, the waste product from that is being put onto a field. So it's a win-win situation all round. With the agricultural industry facing further financial uncertainty, could similar systems provide a glimmer of hope for struggling farmers? Gareth Barlow, BBC Look North, Leyburn.